Okay, so today we're going to go through the basics of Reason Essentials. This is a new piece of software that we'll be using this year in music technology. And the first thing I want to do is show you this video, which tells you a little bit about the software. When you boil it all down to its most basic, I'm a musician because I love music. I love to hear it, to play it, to share it, and I love to make it. No, actually it's more than that. I need to make it. But creativity can be tricky, at times fragile. At other times, it's a rush of activity where I'm just trying to keep up with it. That's why I want my tools to be as streamlined as possible. If I want to add drums, I want to just drop them into my song with the perfect sounds right there. Reason is all about finding those perfect sounds, designed by musicians for musicians. It gets me seamlessly from an idea in my head to a song on my speakers. Every step of the way keeps me focused on what really matters, like that lyric idea bouncing around in my head. So what is Reason? A digital audio workstation? A complete virtual hardware studio? Or an extension of your creativity? Whatever you want to call it, Reason is the gateway to getting your music out. At first glance, Reason is the sum of its parts. The instruments, the effects, a professional mixer, and a streamlined browser to discover new sounds. But what you can't exactly put into words is its flow. Reason is about perfecting the process of music making so you never have to take your mind off the truly important stuff. Perfecting the music itself. Reason, for all its buttons and knobs, can be as hands-off or as deep as you want it to be. New instruments and effects are wired up automatically, setting up your virtual rack for you as you go. Of course, if you want to, just flip the rack around and dive into the world of Reason's fully customizable cable routing. Edit multiple takes to find the best parts. Add that elusive groove to your performances and tweak to satisfy your inner perfectionist. And when you're ready to expand your rack, new instruments, mastering tools, synthesizer utilities, and mix polishing effects are just a click away in the propeller head shop. If you're after new sounds and loops, refill sound libraries will add countless new patches and samples to your music. Powerful, collaborative, expandable. For songwriters, beat makers, or synth tweakers, this is your reason. So that's an idea about the software. Let's have a look at some specifics. In Reason, there are four main windows. The first is the mixer. The second is the rack. Third is the sequencer. And the fourth is the browser. Let's have a quick look at them now. The first, mixer. Now, I want you guys to use the function buttons to go between these different windows. So to see the mixer, you press F5, which is at the top of your keyboard. Here you can change the volume of each instrument and send it left or right in the mix, which as you know is what we call panning. You can change the EQ of the sound, that's the amount of high or low frequencies that you hear. So let's have a look at that. I press F5 to see the mixer, and if you look down here you have all your usual um, timeline controls, stop, play, rewind, fast forward, and record. So let's have a listen to this if we press play. And you can see we have all the usual controls. If you slide this faded down, it goes quiet. Slide it up, it goes loud. You can solo or mute. And you can change the high or the low frequencies.
Okay, so that's the mixer. Second, we have the rack. Now this is where all the instruments live. In electronic music, in, uh, musicians often use a rack full of different electronic boxes which make sound. So the rack is there just to keep everything neat and tidy. So I thought it would be useful for you to see what a rack looks like in real life. Here is an empty rack. It's just a case. And here is a rack full of um, instruments or effects or whatever. So reasons rack, we can see. If we use F6, we will go to the rack. And you can put as many instruments in here as you want. Um, and you'll never run out of space. So it just keeps on going. Let's have a look at reasons rack. Let's use F6. And we have the rack here. So this song has a lot of different instruments, as you can see. And if you look up here in the top right corner, you can grab this little blue box which will take you up or down the rack to get to where you want to go. Okay, third window is the sequencer. This is where we can arrange everything that happens and when it happens. If we want to make a piece of music repeat, we can do that here. Or we can um, delete it completely or move it to later or whatever you want to do. F7 is to see the sequencer. So let's have a look at the sequencer. F7. Here is uh, a graphical representation of what happens in the song. So let's go back to the beginning and press play. So let's imagine I want to take the drums and delete them. All I have to do is select it and hit delete. And now let's listen to what that sounds like. Okay, so finally the browser. Here is where we can search for our sounds, instruments and effects. We press F3 to see the browser. If you need something, this is where it's going to be. So let's have a look at the browser by pressing F3. And here in the top left you can see we have instruments, we have the Redrum, the Subtractor, the ID8, the Doctor Octorex and the NNXT. We're going to learn a lot about these in the next few months. So. Here are some effects. We have distortion, reverb, um, a guitar amp, a bass amp, loads of other things. And utilities, which we're going to go a little bit into as well. So that's an overview of Reason. And next video is going to be today's task.